students welcome to ca session students today we will continue the same chapter chapter 11 spreadsheet tool open office calc 2 students today we will learn about charts in excel we can make charts for a particular table so what are charts and graphs charts and graphs are actually pictorial representation of the tabular data so first of all we will study about various types of charts and then we will learn how to make the chart so, first of all, in chapter we will study about area chart. So, area chart actually emphasizes the magnitude over time and it shows the relationship of a part of a whole. Okay, like you know very well how to plot the graph. So, first of all, if like we have uh, some values like x, y coordinates, then we used to plot it on the graph. Then after that, if we join it with a line, and cover that area with a particular color, then it becomes area chart. Okay, so it will actually show the part of a whole. Okay, like out of whole, some part of it will be covered by the particular data series. Now column chart. Column, it shows the data change over a period of time and it also illustrates the comparison among various items. We will be able to compare various data series in it. Once the data points have been plotted in the graph, here in column chart, vertical columns are used for a particular data item. So, every data item means every bar will be of different color and it will help us to compare data series efficiently. So, now various variations of column charts. Column charts have some subtypes. They have vertical bars but vertical bars are in different forms. Like staked column chart first. In staked column charts, bars are staked one above the other. Okay, in column chart what happens? There is a red color bar, yellow color bar, green color bar. But in staked column chart, there is red color, yellow color and blue color bar. Okay, so there is a vertical column, but columns will be staked one above the other. And this way we will be able to compare the data series. Now 3D chart. 3D chart as the name suggests, the columns will be in 3D, okay, in three dimensions and it will look attractive. It will simply illustrate the comparison among various items. Now students will study about bar chart. Bar chart is same as column chart but here in place of vertical columns, we have horizontal columns in the bar chart, okay. So it's simple categories will be organized vertically and values will be organized horizontally and that is why it is inverse of column chart. It is used to compare among individual items and, and one variation of it is staked bar chart in which the bar will be staked one above the other in place of having separate bars for every data item. Now line chart. As the name suggests in place of columns and bar the data series means data points will be joined with a line and every line will be of different color. So it actually shows the trend in data at equal intervals and it shows change in value over a period of time. Now pie chart. Pie chart means it will be in the shape of a pie as we can cut a piece of pie from a whole pie. The same way here also every part will be actually the part of a whole. Every slice will be the part of a whole in the pie chart. So it is used to compare only one data series and it represents the part of a whole. Now donut chart. It includes more than one data series. Okay, it is same as pie chart but what happens here? Here we can compare more than one data series. Now how it can be compared? Here in donut it will be hollow from the center. Then what will happen? First ring, then second ring, third ring. That means there will be different layer for every data series. And that is why it compares more than one data series. So it also represents part of a whole. So now XY scatter chart. Scatter as the name suggests the points are scattered on the graph. Okay, means XY coordinates will be there. We will plot it on the graph. It seems like scatters on the graph. And so it is a scatter chart. So it display data series as a set of points. Points will be displayed on the chart and values are represented by the position of the point in chart space. So wherever the position of the data point is, according to that, its values are represented. It is used for scientific data. Now net chart. Net chart, as the name suggests, 
it's like a net okay there will be radial for every data series and that is why if there are so many radials it seems like it is spider net chart okay so it is also known as spider net chart or spider chart so it represents the data values as connected points okay points will be plotted and those points will be connected and it will form a net so different radial means every radial will be for each row of data and it resembles the spider net now next is stock chart as the name suggests it is related to shares and stock charts okay so in shares few things are very important for any company share we always need high value means high price the lowest price of the day close price and opening price okay it represents the data series as the set of lines with markers okay there will be marker for every price that means high low close and open values now here the values are represented by the height of the marker okay so height of the marker will allow us to compare various items now students there is one more chart that is column and line chart so as the name suggests it is actually the combination of both column chart and line chart what happens here data values are plotted on the graph and then after that they are joined with a line and for every point means every data series there will be a vertical column also now we will study about various components of the chart once the chart has been created we will be able to see these components in the chart so first of all x axis as the name suggests you might have seen axis in axis in the graph it is actually the horizontal axis and it is also known as category axis categories are marked over there then y axis y axis vertical axis you have seen y axis also there on the graph so y axis is also known as value axis then there is data series now every series means every set of values means points which are plotted on the graph are known as data series then chart area chart area means whole region covered by the chart then plot area plot area is the area where the chart is plotted okay it is not actually the whole chart area it is actually the part where the chart is plotted now chart title chart title means a descriptive information or the title given to the chart by which we can understand that what exactly this chart want to show now axis title axis title means as we all know we means in 2d chart we have x axis and y axis in 3d chart we have z axis also if we have given a title to these axis then it is known as axis title now legions you might have seen that various data points or the columns or lines are in different colors and patterns so those colors and patterns are actually the unique color or a pattern which identify every data series in the chart is known as legion these legions you will be able to see at the right side now grid lines grid lines will be horizontal and vertical lines which are there in the plot area plot area is the area where the charts are plotted so to increase the readability of the chart there are grid lines we can show grid lines in the plot area now data label data label means when the data values are plotted on the graph then we can give additional information to that particular data value means like uh, if there is some point then we can write company names and near it that's it now students we will learn to create chart in open office calc but before that we should know different ways in which we can make the chart see there can be embedded chart or chart sheet so in this the chart object means the chart will be there near with the data values okay like if we have selected the worksheet means selected the table and we have made the chart of it then both the table and the chart will be in the same sheet and that is known as embedded chart now chart sheet chart sheet means it is the sheet having only chart there the chart data means the table will not be there now how to create the chart first of all select the cells that means select the table 
then after that we have to click on the chart icon chart icon you will be able to see in the toolbars then the chart wizard dialog box will appear now in that we have four things to change first of all in chart type dialog box you can select the desired chart type the type of chart that you want for your chart that means you can select column chart bar chart etc from here and then you can click on next button when you click on next data range dialog box will appear from there you can choose the source data range okay here also you can specify the data range then you can click on the next then data series dialog box will appear here you can you will again get the chance to change the source range and you can also change labels over here and then you can click on next button then after that chart element dialog box will appear and from there and there you can specify the title of the chart then subtitle of the chart here you can give x axis title and the y axis title and then you can also change the position of legend over here i have already told you that by default legend legends will be on the right side so here you can change the position of the legend and then after that you have to click on finish button so now students we will learn to make change in existing chart like once you have created the chart then you can make changes in it so how to modify simply you have to click on format in the menu bar there you will get various options like type like title x axis title y axis title etc legends etc so you can select the option and you can change the values otherwise you can also choose another option the another option is simply right click the chart select the chart right click the chart there also you will get various options to change components of the charts now moving and resizing embedded chart you already know how to move objects on the screen or in any software the same way here also we will do so first of all we should know how to select the chart so how to select the chart simply take mouse pointer over the chart and click okay the chart will be selected now how to move the chart we have to take pointer to the chart border the chart, that pointer will convert into the plus symbol and then we will be able to drag the chart anywhere we want then to resize the chart now to resize the chart you might have seen there are handles on the edges and at the corners also of the chart so you have to take mouse pointer over any handle and then you have to drag it and then you can resize it up to the size that you want okay and when you will take the mouse pointer on any of the handle the mouse pointer will convert into double headed arrow and that you have to drag now to delete the chart how to delete simply select any chart by clicking on it and then after that press delete button in your keyboard now save and retrieve the chart how to save the chart simply in file menu you can click on save whole chart all the chart and table will be saved in a particular workbook and when you want to open it then you can click on file menu and then you can choose open option the whole workbook will open and you will be able to see the saved worksheet and chart over there now students shortcut keys are also there you can use shortcut keys to save and open the document now students this is the last topic of this chapter so here we will learn to print the sheet range or entire workbook it's very easy to print the document simply we have to click on file in the menu bar then we have to choose print option then print dialog box will appear after that in print you will get three options like if you want to print selected cells or you want to print selected sheet or choose any one topic and then enter number of printed copies number of copies you have to print in the number of copies box and number of pages you want to print you can write it in the print range section and then you have to click on okay button so students only this much for today soon i'll be uploading question and answers you complete it in your notebook thank you have a nice day